manipulations basically okay so this is one kind of scenario wherein we have two dates let's say date one and date two right it's a 25th of october 2022 and uh, this date two is 24th of august of let's say 23 okay these are two dates what we need to achieve is like for um, uh, you know so these uh, dates are lies in some quarter right so this is in third quarter and this is in the second quarter so what we need to do is uh, like um, uh, for these quarter and dates we need to create both endpoints for example the first quarter date so for 25th october 2022 so this date lies in the quarter of october right october november december three months right so first of october we need to we need to have the endpoints of these quarters in the first for the first date uh, in which quarter it lies the first date of this quarter and for the second date uh, which quarter this lies in and the end date of that quarter these two uh, we need to achieve these values so we will have two date as an input and then there will be a uh, there will be a two ends of those quarters. So these are the uh, you know first uh, last quarter of the 2022 up till the third quarter of the 2023. These two dates, likewise, we need to achieve. So now uh, we will use some reformat function, then I mean reformat component, and then we can try to have a kind of loop, something like that. Okay, and then. We'll create some intermediate things in between, like uh, year part we will calculate from the first uh, date, date one, right? And year part of the second date. And then we will have uh, some static uh, vectors we will calculate, uh, you know, assign basically. So if you try to look at here, the first vector I have used the quarter dates, the initial uh, dates, right? First January, first April, first July, and first October. Likewise, end date also calculated, quarter dates too. Uh, 31st December 2022, 30th, uh, 30th September, 30th June, and 31st March. So this is the end date of first quarter, this is second quarter, third, fourth, and this is first uh, date of the uh, first quarter, first date of the second quarter, first date of the third quarter, and first date of the th fourth quarter. Like this date, right? and this one is like uh, this one right second date here so if we pass uh, uh, now we in the reformat itself what we are going to do is let's uh, have a for loop okay so to calculate the let's say this is quarter start date my this date and quarter end date my this date okay after calculation so my quarter start date is uh, i'm uh, you know iterating from zero to uh, 3 right i uh, 0 to 3 right and then uh, <clears throat> i will keep on assigning the quarter start date i will keep on assigning until uh, until my uh, you know this date uh, becomes the uh, becomes more these four dates right i have sent these four dates until and unless my this date becomes greater than I would be keep on modifying that my quarter start date so for example for this one is 1st of January 2022 right so 1st of January is 2022 is uh, uh, you know less than the 25th October right so I have assigned this date next time my uh, uh, index will be one so i will check this one first of october is also first of um, uh, sorry april is also less than so i'll keep on iterating until and unless i have reached into the uh, you know fourth quarter so my assignment would be you know fourth quarter in this case uh, similarly for quarter end date right my quarter started I achieved 
फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बिकॉज बिकॉज इट इट हैज यू नो पास ओके बिकॉज इट हैज टू गो टू द इट हैज टू गो टू द फॉर लास्ट क्वार्टर बेसिकली बिकॉज इट वॉज कीप ऑन सेटिस्फाइंग दीज क्वार्टर वर लेस देन दई दिस वन दिस डेट देर फॉर इट वेंट इन टू द लास्ट क्वार्टर ओके देर फॉर मई दिस वन इज यू नो क्वार्टर स्टार्ट डेट इज गोइंग टू बी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सिमिलरली फॉर एंड टाइम आई हैव यू नो टेकन so for uh, end date i am you know uh, taken the last quarter as my first index so that is the kind of trick basically so this is second last quarter third last fourth last quarter okay fourth last in the first quarter basically so what we will do is like so here also now uh, but we have greater than if the index is greater than all those things if they are greater than until and unless they are greater than this one this date we need to assign this index so uh, let's say uh, which one 31 december 2022 is greater than 24th august satisfied so we have taken this one for uh, index number 2 september is greater than september is greater than 24th august right we have taken the september quarter now if 30th 30th june is greater than uh, 24 august no so after that this condition will not satisfy after second quarter after second index so my values will be 30th september 2023 so in this way we have achieved you know start date and end date so likewise you can manipulate the uh, you know date part you should know that you know how many quarters are there what should be the first date of the quarter the last date of the quarter right so like this way we can uh, try to you know answer this kind of question so we have take the two dates and create end date for the first and last quarter you know so there could be a multiple more ways of doing it right thank you so much